first of all, I was, I was proud to see our guys fought back and um, didn't surrender uh, till the very end. That was the one positive thing I'll start out with that, you know, guys really just didn't give in. I was, I was pleased that I gave Tristan a rebounding goal of six or more and he got nine. Uh, that was positive. Um, just disappointing start. I felt like I had our team in the wrong defense. He didn't do a good enough job of getting ready to play. Disappointing in the shoot around today. And I thought the way we carried ourselves to start shoot around is the same way we carried ourselves in the game today. And that's on the head coach. So I, I got to certainly get better uh, in that area. Uh, I got to give Brown a lot of credit. They were, they were a typical Ivy League team. They, they shot the ball extremely well. Uh, they made great decisions on the court. Um, you know, I thought that uh, McGonagall did a great job of really staying within himself, and I think his shooting percentage says it all. He's seven for 15 from the field, and four for nine from the three, and um, and, and that was, you know, that was a, a, a big killer. But what what ends up happening is then number 12, uh, Norman Hobby comes out and goes four for eight from the three. So that certainly wasn't expected. And your goal is to make the lesser players beat you, and certainly they did tonight. Yeah. <clears throat> T.T., first off. Uh, Another good night. How do you feel um, heading into next week? That's how I feel heading into next week. Yeah, yeah, heading into the Thanksgiving games next week. Um, just kind of just look at what we need to learn from. Like, put this one past us, look at the film, and see what we see the mistakes, learn from the mistakes, and just apply them to what we normally do and how we practice. We just got to play harder. Um, also, to TT, what can you take from this game to improve for your game at Penn State on Sunday? Um, just be more disciplined. Don't, don't be in such a hurry. And um, play our game and um, just execute and, and just pretty much just play our roles. Okay. Carl, um, how do you feel about, about your overall performance tonight? Uh, I didn't feel too, uh, too good about it. Um, in the first half, I felt like I was forcing shots, taking a couple unnecessary shots, and then the second half, I wasn't playing aggressive at all. I think uh, me forcing shots in the first half kind of contributed to that. But then also away from points, I didn't re rebound the ball well. And if we're going to on this next uh, nine-day road trip, um, especially at Penn State, because they're going to be bigger than us, I need to rebound the ball better to give our team a better chance to win. That kind of leads into my question. That actually was my question. Would you change anything about your performance tonight? That um, stand more aggressive in the second half and definitely rebound the ball. Coach, um, in, in general, in your mind, what was the, uh, ultimately the difference? Well, they, they shot the balls well. And our defense and, you know, couldn't get them under wraps. And when they were scoring from some outside, I switched defense to stop the shooters. And then they rebounded. So every hole I tried to plug, they, you know, they, they took advantage of it, which is what a good team does. You know, that's there's a reason why they're 4 and one and, I think he's in you know, year three of his rebuilding process. and He's got a much more disciplined, uh, significantly better team. But, but again, I, the guards shot it out, but the two big guys really neutralized the game. You know, they were able to handle our pressure early and, and uh, rebound the basketball and defend us. And you know, I thought that was a big key to us as well. How would you explain all the turnovers that took place at seemingly really inopportune times? Um, you know what? Uh, I think LeBron had a key one at an inopportune time, and Lucas had a key one at an opportune time. And you know, those guys handled the ball a lot for us. And you know, I, I don't want to expound on the fact that you know, if you're if you're aggressive, you're going to turn the ball over. What I what I do like though is this just shows our effort and our heart. We forced them into 22 turnovers, and that lets me know our pressure can make a difference for us as we continue to build off that. And I thought our press really affected them. We were just unable to stop them in the quarter court. And coach, what would you consider the defining factor in the team's loss tonight? Well, I think again, when you talk about the rebounding advantage, and, and when when you let a team make 11 threes, I told our team before the game, if they hit eight threes, we're in trouble. They had seven at halftime, and they finished with 11. And, and the three-point shot has become as a positive a, a highlight or an adrenaline rush as a dunk. And I thought that really kept them going in crucial situations. And you know, sometimes as a coach, you choose your poison. You know, they got those two big kids that have, that have all played well. And you know, when we focused on them, they threw it out and made threes. You know, I, we just we just could never get control of them defensively, which they deserve a lot of credit for that. Yeah. <clears throat> How does tonight change the way that you prepare for the road trip? 
You know what? I think uh, it's a great setup for us again. Uh, we got killed at South Carolina, and, um, and and it got our guys really focused on some intangible things we needed to get better at. We, we executed that against TCU. So um, I don't like to lose to learn, uh, but sometimes when you get a young program and a, a program taking off and you're changing culture, you know, sometimes you got to lose to learn. And, um, and, and hopefully we'll, we'll catapult from this defeat the same way we catapulted from the defeat at South Carolina. Um, TT, um, it kind of took you a little while to get going. Why do you think that was? Uh, I, I was getting a feel for the game and how they was playing me and whatnot. I mean, at times I could see like they were trying to deny me the ball. And at times they were, they were a little bit more helping towards me than, and like more people would fly at me when I catch the ball. So as I realized that, I just you know just found out which way I could score. Coach, how has the team overall evolved since the first game y'all played together? Well, you know, you could take this as a setback, and um, because we lost it at home, and we got to have you know home court dominance. That that's the big key. I've heard you've heard me say that several times. That we got to we got to establish ourselves at home. So that was disappointing, but it's a journey. I mean, this is this is a this is a marathon. This is not a sprint. Uh, we're not going to slit our throats after this game. Uh, it's one game, and we got a chance to get better. And uh, we're going in a hostile environment. And this team has shown me that they can respond in those environments. So uh, I, I'm I'm satisfied. Uh, but today I thought we took a step back, not because we lost, but because the one thing we hold our hat on, and that is playing hard and competing. You know, we didn't do today. And, and when, you, when a team doesn't do that, that's certainly on the head coach. So I got to take full responsibility for that. Thank you. Any other questions? I think I'm good. That's all I have. Very good. Thank you. Good game, you guys. Thank you, guys.